Welcome back. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well. This is... Uh, <laughs> I guess some of the interesting things that I, I was hoping to see in these levels. Something very gimmicky, I guess. Oh my god. I guess you just have to spend all your time trying to slow down. Wow, this is going to take some practice. You don't get any checkpoints, do you, either? Ooh. You just have to move backwards at a very precise angle. That's harder than it sounds. This, looks, this one looks like it's super short if you can handle it. I, I think there's only so much sta space you can span in a stage. Which is why... Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to move the camera. I don't know if there's a way to move, change the camera speed. I think there's a way to move the, change the speed if you have a nunchuck, but I don't think you can use a nunchuck in normal gameplay. Ooh. Yeah, good luck getting that and. Yeah, that's not that's only a single speed booster. I guess that's not, that's not that bad. I can't even move the camera this far. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god! Wow, What's that? I need to move the camera. At, I need to move the marble at too steep an angle. I can't actually just move the re re remote at that angle, holding it the way I normally hold it. Yeah, it's just it's basically just one skill. Who being able to move it at that one angle? Whoa! Ooh. Is that actually is that actually a strategy? Not even close. You rebound so hard, you actually end up back in a safe position. I don't know if that's the way to do this quickly. It's it's hard to you're out of hold the remote here. Yeah, you have to start slowing down immediately. It's just really... It's such a simple task that's so difficult to do. Okay. What am I doing here? I'm not holding this thing right. Now I wonder, though, if I really should just try to... Ah, no, but the, I didn't think those were straight, and they're not. So no, I can't just, um... I, it was kind of a freak accident the first time I managed to almost do that, apparently. That was pretty perfect. Okay. Now the real test of truth. I just stay centered. I think we have lines to follow on the inside of this thing. There you go. I don't have to move or anything. You bring the pedal on your own. Cool. That was that was a fun little gimmick. What's this? This doesn't look. Oh, it, you're moving at awkward angles, I guess, is the gimmick of this one. Oh, huh. I see that ant. That's funny, though, that bounce off of the off the ant's platform the one time. Oh, man, this reminds me of a, one of the levels in Day City, actually, in the original Quadrantha. The one that I tried to do with the, with the taxi cab. Marble, and it was a terrible experience. Interesting, you can skip stuff here if you already have the gems. You can just drop on down to the next part of the of the level. It's 
a really steep angle, but I, I've done worse, honestly. And nothing about this level looks too intimidating, honestly. I saw part at the end that doesn't look too nice. But, but being able to skip the beginning part after having done the first few bits also helps, I think. In fact, you could probably practically do this part backwards. Because now, I, I may not have a checkpoint, but I can drop back to this part here. Oh, that is mean. They know that this is really awkward to do. It's a whole challenge here. One second. I need to change how I'm holding the thing. They know that it's awkward just to move up and down like this. So make that the whole challenge of getting the ant. Now, getting back would be tricky if it wasn't for the fact that... Just because I have to change how I hold the remote. If it wasn't for the fact that I can do this. Heh. <laughs> pause menu lets you change... I mean, pause buffering is basically what it is. Let's you change instantaneous with orientation of your remote, which isn't reflected quite instantaneously in game, but it's very fast. <laughs> Sorry. The the cord of my headphones got in a weird place, and I felt like it was a bug on me or something. All right, so what are we doing here precisely? We have a few of these to do. I don't think it seems that bad. Ah, oh, but you you bounce off. Most. Like, we're this close. It's weird, why can't I quite get a hop out of here? It's, I realize this is dishonest, but I got so close to the end already, I don't. I'm not that concerned, and it seems like a fairly easy jump. Oops, like that. Of course, the game does punish you by making you. Oh, making you wait a bit. Oh. Nursing wasn't there too long. Alright. Keep actually hitting the, the B button as I do this. Yeah, it's interesting. If you hop, I guess it's... I don't know what the criterion is for... Ah, for that little too bad. I don't know if it's when you... I don't think it's time in the air. I think it's if you... Really? Darn. If you... Cross switch distance in the air or something like that? I may or may not be saving time by doing those. I might. Depending on how annoying it is to get over those little bumps. And this is going a little bit worse than I expected. In part because I'm having a harder time hopping them than I expected. There we go. Sorry for that, but I think it makes for a better viewing experience. Not to be wasting all the time on that. I got through the rest of the level already, so I'm not too concerned. That's an interesting check to that ant there. I wonder if that's tricky to do. Otherwise, this is just a bunch of thin stuff. Reminds me of the final level of... Not quite final. I'm on the final challenges we did in Hot Wheels World's Best Driver, actually. <laughs> Big windy whatever. Over. Over top of a bunch of nothing. Yeah, I, at the same time, it doesn't seem too bad. Like, just take it slow. Like, I've done plenty of moving across thin platforms in this game for this point. I'm pretty well trained for this. I didn't realize there was a bump there. I, here I am using supposedly one of the most difficult marbles to do this. Mostly because I don't agree with the notion that's actually the most difficult. Speaking of that though, I think I will ask, I don't know if I'll get any answers, I think I will ask after I finish this, 
if people want to see me do a quick easy mode playthrough of this game just to have the whole game on this channel and all that. Ooh. Weird collisions. Careful there. This is definitely one of those endurance levels. You can't cheat on this one very easily either. You're not gonna be able to, if you hop somewhere, you're not gonna be able to land and stay on the on the platform. I'd love to see his tools as it's speed around this game actually, because then you could do things like that. You could do all sorts of ridiculous jumping and bouncing maneuvers that way. I think this would have tons of potential for that. Although, the dishonest might think to themselves, well, after you get all the gems here, it's not that big of a concern anymore, because, hello. So what's happening? The collisions are so strange on here. Look how, look how the ball's rolling and getting stuck on things. Stuck on something. Now that I have all these gems, I can just drop on down to the finish. If I ever want to. Of course, I'd much prefer to have this all done. I, I know at this point that I can complete this whole thing. Legitimately, since I just did it all. Got ya. I was already sling, don't like that would happen. But I mean, this thing's right below me, so whatever. Like, like I said, we just do insert if we can get there. So I don't really care about jumping or dropping back down onto it now. Because otherwise, I could have just done exactly that instead of going for the ant. It is a bit annoying how sometimes good things happen when you when you're on a moving platform. Which make really small moving platforms kind of a pain because they because you shift slightly on them in ways that don't seem very consistent. I think I'll call the episode here. And I'll see you guys next time in the next one. With how long these levels are taking me, the episodes might be fairly variable in length. They might get kind of long, so maybe a later one will be longer. I don't know. We'll see. Bye, everyone.